long time no see. Um, I actually just filmed a TikTok, so that's why the lighting's actually kind of good in here. But I am off to a influencer closet sale, which is kind of random, but if you follow me on TikTok, then I've posted me going to one of those before, which if I can figure out how to put it in the video, I'll put it in here. Hey you guys, come with me to an influencer closet sale. Three local Vancouver girls got together. Me and my friend Paige went to shop their closets. But this one is for, her name's Emma Leger. I feel like a lot of people know her. She's a Vancouver influencer, obviously, because that's where the closet sale is. But I thought I would bring you guys along just to see what's there. I'm going with a couple of my friends. They actually should be here in like the next 15 minutes or so, but I'm quickly gonna make a coffee before we leave because I need a little something something but yeah hopefully it's good i'm a little bit worried it might be really expensive because she does have like expensive taste and she's a lot smaller than me so i don't know how many things will fit or actually be my size but yeah i thought i'd bring you guys along for a little daily vlog to find my new signature scent and I've really been into like vanillas and I loved this vanilla perfume but I'm discontinued in North America which is like so classic everything I love always gets discontinued but anyways I've been hearing all of these people rave about a more niche perfume but people on TikTok love it it's called Bianco Latte and I don't know how to pronounce Giardini de Toscana anyways it smells amazing I'm not allowed to spray it in our room actually because my boyfriend is like sensitive to scents so I'm gonna do it in our bathroom but it smells really good I ordered this like little I don't know what you would call this um on Poshmark because I didn't want to commit to buying the full size because it's like $200 it smells so good though just do the email and get the Okay, we just parked and we're trying to figure out A, parking and B, how to get our tickets because we got them online but we now all forget our account. So we have to do that and then we're like two minutes away, I think, but it's pouring rain so hopefully we don't get soaked before we get in there. It was supposed to start at four but our friend is already there and she's already in and apparently the section is quite small so hopefully there's like some decent stuff and it's not all picked through. <laughs> Okay, cute. That's so cute. Look at the set. Look at the set. The sweatpants are extra small. Hi! Hey! Hi! Hey! 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 I guess we should walk. There was yeah. like two racks of clothing. It was just died, no worries. They were really expensive. Like I picked up a sweater from circa 2016. I remember them being in her Instagram. Oh my god, I'm sorry. In her Instagram. <laughs> In her Instagram post, and it was a thousand dollars, which is like so scary. Best thing we got was our poppies. Yeah, we got some poppies. Martinis. We, and martinis. martinis. Those were good. Which were good. And then Elise ended up buying like a little denim bra, but she's still standing in line, and our parking is about to expire, so we have to leave. <laughs> but yeah, overall, it was a womp womp. It was a womp womp. <laughs> I wish there was more. And for like, and I'm so surprised there was like nothing. There yeah. was like, oh, sorry. <laughs> Got so much hair back there. <laughs> okay, I give okay, up on yeah. the umbrella. Yeah, I feel like I've been to other influencer closet sales and they are not, like there's always so much more and they're always for like such good prices. But yeah, definitely a little underwhelming. I think maybe because it was like at a secondhand retailer for designer, it was expensive and like maybe a little bit more curated than some other closet sales. But anyways, we're gonna drive back now. Womp womp. Womp womp. Womp womp.